Hi everyone. So uh, Sync Teams, I've uh, posted one video previously. I was uh, checking this complete application. Uh, basically, uh, it is somewhat similar to N8N, but it is uh, more of a uh, user-friendly tool compared to that. Because when I tried N8N, uh, it is uh, for, like much of work to learn and execute. And there were like a lot of, uh, you know, here and there tools, which is like not behaving well. But when I tried Sync Teams, it has given like the flaws neat and you'll get n number of support from the team. And uh, I, I still can't believe that they are uh, people who are like beginning their, you know, uh, in the beginning stage and uh, uh, trying to develop this product like high efficient but it is already uh, what i would say is like uh, if you are someone who wanted to build uh, an agent or uh, any tools that uh, uh, should not have any code if you don't have any coding experience but you want to do any uh, agentic uh, ai stuff or uh, this nai uh, complete uh, journey you can neatly uh, go on with this uh, you know application uh, software basically so i tried to build uh, using sync teams n number of times and it was working fine previously i just posted a video about like uh, sending a summary of an email to my uh, personal uh, you know inbox it worked fine so i'm just going to show you how a basic uh, you know chat uh, thing works in uh, sync teams you can uh, learn from this and you can include uh, some of uh, uh, softwares and tools into it so that it will be you know you can build and uh, modify some of the things for yourself so let's get started with a simple chat application in sync teams uh, enjoy like how colorful and uh, easy it is so yeah uh, just open a workspace for it and give a name of your uh, workspace. Uh, so I'm just giving chat. What? Let it be. Um, what to do? I it's supposed to give me simple chat. What for? work yes assistant basically s yes. assistant and uh, i like this color the plain uh, white and stuff like going with so webhook is something you can include i'm just trying to you know uh, ha have uh, just to uh let's okay let it be so what uh, i need to so this is a, a item that you need to add item in the sense like you can specify task uh, this particular application need to do so what i'm going to do is uh, i'm just going to add an item okay why multiple tabs mm. Okay, so what I need to do is uh, I just need to uh, give a team name. I mean, uh, this application for uh, what I'm actually building for the name for it. Okay, chat assistant. Thing is, like you can just specify only the. Uh, thing that you need to specify that's all other than that uh, it is like everything in build an assistant will provide answer for all query okay, yep. okay. Uh, memory type I don't have knowledge uh, I don't need anything so I'm just including the language model here and the uh, uh, you know uh, model or type and uh, the api key i'm using uh yeah which i guess so it's done see how easy it is i don't have to think like uh the token id 
access code so any team basically ask for it uh, but here i don't have to specify any of that it just you know uh, the language model and task that i need to specify now i need to uh, you know uh, give the agent okay some of the yeah agent what this agent particular agent assistant right so what it has to do i am keeping a name for it basically the name is to uh, specify how many number of agents that i am actually having so chat is my own agent if i am adding another uh, software or tool that will be my another agent that i need to specify task for so assist a user with uh, good answers back story you have to uh, so these are like mandatory uh, specifications that you need to make for uh, this application just compare uh, instead of like writing code this is much easy easier than that okay yeah i can assign roles if you want same thing model and yeah so agent would be performing individually because it is an assistant it need to answer for your query right so for that uh, we are like specifying language model again okay why i am getting this web hook again and again mm. okay so now is the game uh, we are specifying the task assigning task for an agent okay we have a agent now and we are setting up a task for it a name description and expected output so description is your prompt a uh, name is for the task name like you assign a name for your task anything even you can keep your name that is also okay uh, and expected uh, output yeah so the task is reply to user query and description i'm just copy pasting things because i don't want to okay paste paste yes so uh you can basically uh, you know uh, give at as at that send um, a string and uh, inside uh, uh, your uh, uh, description so that uh, we know how to write prompts right so the query is actually gathering from the user that is you when you give uh, any query it uh, gets that and puts that into language model ask that into language model and uh, get back your response so yeah i think that's it uh, yeah chat history in the sense like previously what all things that you discussed that is your chat history and it gets that also in the current page so chat history in the sense if you didn't refresh or uh, didn't uh, switch to another tab it will have the history right if you didn't uh, log out sorry you didn't uh, sign in to any application so it stays with that so that is straight takes yeah and save okay that's all uh, don't ask me like uh, do we need to do anything else no i'm just uh, you know uh, uh, going to test with the, with the agent like how the chat application actually works uh, i didn't connect with any front end or uh, any web hooks just this uh, i just uh, need to see like whether it is responding properly or not okay ah yes i forgot to specify the output type it's supposed to be string you can actually change to multiple uh, types data types i'm sticking to a uh, string because it it supposed to reply right so okay yeah okay good so save this no no save okay got it got it got it hmm now i'm just connecting only with the task agent 1 is connected with the 
chat, I mean the reply task. So whenever I ask a question, it's supposed to respond with a reply. Uh, I don't need to... Yeah, I'm not connecting with any friend in right now. Uh, we'll just see the result, how it is actually performing. If you need, we can connect through, I mean, like this. But currently, I'm not doing it. Yeah, delete. I don't want. So just for that, let's see how, how it is actually performing. Hmm. Ah, uh, yeah. So, yeah, we task started event, agent execution started event. So, it got my uh, query and uh, it initiated the task. And again, it calls uh, LLM. Okay, but it's specifying the events. And that's all. Yeah, I think we got the results. Let's Let me check. Okay, um, let me check with the completion. So here uh, it is showing the description output as in description based on the task description and the expected output compare the and evaluate the performance. Okay, uh, uh, yeah, reply. Of course, since you are working on an AI project, yes, let's break down. Okay, what is AI? It gave me the entire result about AI, the types, everything. Oh, nice. Ah, okay. Okay. Grouping customers in the different segments. Yes. Reinforcement learning. Yeah. So, I think, uh, yeah, we got the results, I guess. Yeah, neat. So, I didn't uh, connect it with uh, any front end or, or any tools. Uh, just wanted to check like how this uh, chat application is working with LLM and uh, we can try it with uh, multiple softwares and tools. Uh, just explore this application, uh, which is which is very neat and uh, it is colorful, uh, simple to execute. That is uh, very important. And uh, yeah. And they have like uh, triggers and, uh, uh, you know, for the particular chat, you can trigger also. I mean, you can use triggers uh, to, you know, uh, to have like proper uh, chat bot. And this is like their own uh, website. And they have like documented every everything uh, neatly. You can go through each and every uh, thing on it and... Uh, uh, that will be like, uh, you know, understanding how to connect and what are the applications that you can actually make use of it. So these are things that is uh, there. Uh, Sync Teams is one, uh, you know, uh, a good way of uh, building AI agents and making uh, this application uh, uh, in current uh, generative AI uh, uh, platforms. So if you are someone who's like into uh, trying to build a startup or uh, any you know major minor projects that you are trying to try sync teams and uh, i am currently using it uh, widely uh, just for fun projects sometimes or sometimes even i trigger uh, some of my personal emails like i used to get like bunch junk emails i used to sort using uh, this uh, you know agents through this so try and let me know in the comment. And one more thing, they have like 14 day trial. You can sign up and uh, try using it and uh, get some experience and then you can pay for it. Yeah. So that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Bye.